how to give input. This is our motor. This is our internal impedance graph. Again, apply KVL. You will get the equation for terminal voltage. So that is input voltage. Apply in this one. This one is the current equation. Again, motor la input power apply na. This is the point where we are going to give our input. Right. So motor power the input apply na. This is VT at an into I A conjugate. Right. Again, I A power value apply na. This is value apply na. Substitute apply na. Pull apply na. Multiply apply na. Real power, reactive power. Apply na. Maximum power varna apply na. Once again. We can create one eighty. Theta plus del. Two variables say that our one eighty polar medium. Now the one thing is that now our plus side of. So we can obtain the maximum power, right? So we can now our cos of theta plus del. Our one eighty substitute for that cos pi. That is minus one. And we have one more minus. Minus into minus become plus. So that is the formula to obtain the maximum power. Now the maximum power of our what about the reactive power? While delivering the that is while supplying the maximum power to the order uh, to the synchronous motor, the reactive power is going to be. If we go 180 substitute for it, theta plus delta is 180. Then sine 180 is zero. So your reactive power will become Vt square by Zt square plus sine theta. That is the input reactive power of the uh, uh, synchronous motor when we are trying to give the maximum input. Clear? So that is all about input power. In the same way, we can also calculate the output power. Output power already calculated for it. That is very simple. If you want to know the output power, just we have to replace V T by what? So if you want to know the output power, let me explain. That is very simple. Again, if you want to know, here we have to consider the output power. Of the, this is the point where we are going to deliver the output power, right? So in the other case, in case of motor, the value is that is E at an angle of minus del into I conjugate, right? If you want to know the output power, what do you obtain? E V T. By is a des first term la minus del minus theta minus theta mana the plus theta so it can be written as at an angle of theta minus del la. second term become minus e dot e become e square minus del plus del will become zero divided by is a des in the minus theta mana this one that is become plus theta right so that is the generalized apparent power now it is output power that is not input power clear the output power we can be found so from this the output power right can be written as Output real power will become right. So it can be as what E V T by Z S into cos of theta minus del minus E square upon Z S into cos theta. That is the real power right absorbed by the alternator. Sorry, synchronous motor. What about the reactive power of the synchronous motor? So that is going to be E V T by Z S into sin of theta minus del minus E square upon Z S into sine theta. Sorry, this is sine theta, right? Now tell me at what point we can deliver the maximum output power? So if we can deliver, that is your synchronous motor will try to absorb the maximum power at the output port when the value of theta will become equal to del. This is the point where your power will become P max, right? अब अब maximum power वाला 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 If I in that theta theta equal to delta, I will substitute it. Now that is become cos zero. That will be one. So the maximum power become e v t by z s minus e square upon z s into cos theta. Right. So that is the maximum power. Right. Maximum power alternator receive from us. Sorry, synchronous motor receive from us. What about the reactive power? Here theta equal to delta or maximum power condition. So this is going to be zero. What about this one? So alternator so synchronous motor absorbing, right? So synchronous motor absorbing leading reactive power. Why sir? The value of reactive power become minus e square by z s into sin theta. That is less than zero. Right, less than zero means that is called leading reactive power. Greater than zero, not lagging reactive power. So, synchronous motor is absorbing leading reactive power when it is absorbing maximum real power. Clear? So, this is all about uh, real power and reactive power of the synchronous alternator under motor. In the next lecture, we are going to simplify this uh, reactive power in both motor and alternator. So that we can calculate uh, that is easy analysis. Come on, we will do some simplification. Panna paro. We will see in the next lecture, right? So if there are any doubts, then you can ask in the comment section. So thanks for watching our videos. Thank you all.